Hi, this is Roderick Paulus from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at Toy Fair 2012 at the New York City Jacob Javits Convention Center. I'm here at Diamond Select with Zach Oaks. What's up, Zach? Not much. I was just showing uh, everybody the uh, new Alice Madness Returns figures we're doing uh, based on the game uh, designed by American McGee. Uh, we've got the first wave coming out in May, which has uh, the regular Alice and uh, the Card Guard and the Cheshire Cat. Those will all be coming out in May. Um, Alice will come with uh, all of her weapons, the Vorpal Blade, the Pepper Grinder, the Hobby Horse. Uh, we're also going to do a Hysteria Mode Alice, um, which will have uh, the special painted, different painted versions of those three weapons. And we're also going to have a limited um, retailer exclusive um, Royal Suit Alice, uh, which will only be available at uh, one retailer. We're uh, finalizing that deal now. And uh, she will come with, I believe, just the Pepper Grinder and Vorpal Blade, not the Hobby Horse. But um, it will be a, a lower price point for that retail store. Uh, how articulate will they be? Uh, they will be very articulate. If you look at Alice here, um, she's got um, ball jointed shoulders, um, mid bicep. I can't move her too much as prototype, but um, she'll have uh, bi mid bicep, hinged elbows, mid forearm, ball jointed neck, waist, uh, ball jointed hips, knees, and um, ankles. Not rocker ankles, but um, but ball jointed. And uh, she's, so she can do a lot of stuff. Again, it's a prototype, so I can't really have pose her too much, but she uh, she will be able to do a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, so, and also the card guard and the Cheshire Cat will be equally articulated, so you'll be able to put her in all sorts of poses. And, and uh, ha having those accessories, she'll be able to hold all of her accessories pretty well. Okay. Yeah, also, you're going to have also Marvel vs. Capcom. Sure. We can take a look at the Marvel vs. Capcom Mini Mates. Uh, Wave 1 is out now in stores. Uh, there's some figures exclusively at Toys R Us, some at Specialty. Uh, this is Wave 3. Wave 2 is coming up next month, but Wave 3 will be out in June. Uh, people are looking forward to this wave because in addition to the um, regular characters who are at Specialty and Toys R Us, Ryu, Ryu Captain America, Wesker, and Doctor Doom, uh, we've got four uh, popular female characters at Specialty, She-Hulk, Chun-Li, Felicia, and uh, X-23. And then we've got a couple of great characters at Toys R Us. Um, MODOK is the one everybody's looking forward to. It's the first MODOK mini made we've ever done. Akuma, uh, Amaterasu from Okami, and uh, Thor uh, with the spinning hammer uh, accessory hand. So, uh, people are looking forward to this wave, both for the Marvel stuff and for the Capcom stuff. And uh, those will be out in June. Okay, we're also doing Halo? Yes, we've got some uh, toys coming out based on the Halo anniversary, the, the original game. Um, there's a box set coming to specialty which has uh, Master Chief uh, with his own little Cortana, uh, a full-size Cortana, by full-size I mean two-inch minifigure with her card reader base. Um, the uh, Jacob Keys and Prophet of Truth are exclusive to the box set. Uh, and then there will be a, a, a series of figures that Toys R Us, um, a series of two packs. Um, some of them you can see here, uh, not shown as the Hayabusa armor, a red Hayabusa armor, but um, ODST Rookie, uh, Ratas Bottom, uh, the Gold Chieftain, uh, Prophet of Mercy, and um, the Arbiter uh, will all be in this wave as well. Um, and those will be in two packs. Uh, how much will that be uh, retailing for? Uh, the two packs retail for anywhere between $7.99 and $8.99 um, for two figures. And uh, they'll be, be come with accessories and weapons and you'll be able to interchange them between the characters. Now we're going to move on. You'll have the um, Monsters. Universal Monsters is a very big line for us. We've done two years worth of figures at this point on a couple different range, product ranges, but this uh, Wave 3 uh, for 2012 is right here. Um, seven inch figures, uh, Metal Luna Mutant and the Phantom of the Opera will be coming out. You can see their select accessories in the large from the larger specialty packaging it will include the organ and the interocitor. Uh, the violin will come with the Toys R Us version, along, uh, and there will also be an Invisible Man in the Toys R Us wave. Uh, not shown here, ironically. Um, this is actually 2013's wave of figures, uh, wave four. Uh, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, uh, the mole person, and uh, Quasimodo. Uh, the select versions will be uh, Mr. Hyde with the base and the Quasimodo with the gargoyle. Uh, but I believe Dr. Jekyll alone and the mole person will only be available at Toys R Us. Um, series three of the retro cloth includes the bride and the creature from the Black Lagoon. 
a Series 3 of the Mini Mates includes a Hunchback of Notre Dame box set and a Mummy box set, as well as um, a couple of figures exclusive to Toys R Us 2 packs. The box sets have some exclusive figures as well. And we're finally going to do vinyl bust banks for Universal Monsters. Um, this is our first one, Frankenstein, a little bigger than actual size. And we're eventually going to do uh, the creature as well. Uh, but we hope to get to uh, a bunch of the characters uh, in the next couple of years. Uh, let me talk about Munsters. Um, first wave did very well for us. Uh, so Eddie and Marilyn will complete the family this summer in a two-pack. Uh, we have black and white versions um, that we are shopping around to retailers to see if there's any exclusive interest. And wave two comes out in September, and that will have the racing outfits and a new Lily with new accessories, and the connect and collect um, part to that will be the staircase from the family house. And we're also going to do a mini made vehicle of Herman the Coach, which will come out in, uh, in a mini made vehicle series four later this summer. Cool. Uh, one of our favorite lines here is the Minimates Max line, Mobile Action Extreme. Um, it's our military and adventure and rescue line of Minimates. Um, so we've got a couple new two packs coming out this year. Um, the Night Ops uh, two packs and the Arctic uh, Mission two pack. You can see the Arctic Mission members here with the uh, Armored Personnel Carrier, which will be in Minimates Vehicle Series 4. That's the Arctic version. Um, and it has a lot of accessories and, and play features. It opens up, it's got seats, lots of doors. Uh, we'll also be putting out new paint versions of the Smoke Jumper Firemen and the uh, Soldiers um, in the Desert Camo uh, color scheme. Those should all be coming out later on this year. They were a Toys R Us exclusive, but now they'll be available everywhere. Okay. Also doing the um, Pirates here? Yep, we've got more Pirates coming out. Um, if you've seen the line, uh, we've uh, got ships in the Mini Meat Vehicles line at retail now. Um, the first wave was Toys R Us exclusive, the second wave is going to be opened up to everybody. Uh, we've got a couple more famous pirates, William Moore and Captain Kidd, uh, and then a couple more Jack's crew members, uh, the, uh, the ship surgeon, uh, the quartermaster, and uh, the governor. And we're going to have new accessories for everybody, um, a parrot that clips onto the wrist, a, te a telescope, um, a uh, barrel, a grappling hook, cannons, cannon of balls, uh, a lot of different stuff. Uh, we do have a new ship coming out of Toys R Us in May, um, but we're also going to have, uh, we're also seeing if there's any interest in a Santa Claus pirate ship. Uh, <laughs> just for fun. Uh, we did paint it up, it looked really cool, we're seeing if there's any interest. And of course we do new episodes of the, uh, of, of both sh shows, the um, Mini Mates Max and the um, Pirate Raiders on, uh, on Minimates.com and on Facebook and YouTube, on our YouTube channel, Collect DST. Uh, but the adventures show the Max characters going on missions and changing, changing uh, specialties, you know, by via computer and the pirate stuff is just great swashbuckling action. It's all stop motion animation. Cool. Um, let's see if we can move on down to the Avengers. Sure. Let's take a look at the Avengers stuff. Uh, Avengers. Um, we're going to be doing a Marvel Select figure of the Hulk. Uh, it's seven inch scale, but he's definitely a lot bigger than the seven inch figures. Uh, over eight inches uh, tall. Um, he won't come with a base because he's so big, but he'll be uh, coming out alongside a reissue of uh, Iron Man Mark VI, who will have his ba original base, the uh, sliding doors. Um, after them in May, we're going to have the mystery villain from the Avengers, which we can't show you, but he'll come out alongside Hawkeye, and they both have uh, cl uh, connectable bases to form one big bridge battle scene from the movie. And we're also going to have mini mates from that line as well that are going to be coming out uh, late April, early May. Um, some are at Toys R Us, some are at Specialty. Uh, what about the Spider Man line? Spider Man, we're going to do Select as well. Uh, we've got the 7 inch scale Spider Man uh, with a wall base uh, which hangs on your wall so you can stand on that, on that uh, awning. And uh, the Lizard, that's actually in scale. He's a very big character in the movie, so he won't come with a base. Um, but we're also doing resin statues for the first time in a while. So we'll have a statue of Spider-Man uh, on the side of a building. And we'll have uh, resin busts of all the characters. Uh, Lizard, well, Lizard and uh, a few different versions of Spider-Man. And um, they're designed to be displayed together, um, but they look great individually as well. You're also doing some can openers? Uh, bottle openers. Bottle openers. Uh, the Thor's hammer is out now. That's solid metal. Um, has a good real weight to it. Uh, but we're going to do Silver Surfer next in September with his board, and we're going to do Captain America's Shield uh, in uh, 
uh, December. That's when that one is coming out. And uh, we're pretty happy with how those are coming out. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Okay. And you got Mini Mates, as you say, for... Yep. Um... Uh, Marvel, uh, we're still going with the Mini Mates line. Um, it's going strong. This is Wave 44. It's going to come out right before the movie. Comic-based Avengers, George Perez, uh, Avengers Return. Um, 45 and 46 are technically the movie waves. Um, I don't know if you want to get a shot of those down there. The, uh, the Avengers, Avengers wave uh, will come out in uh, late April uh, and early May. Um, some of the figures are top secret, so they can't come out until after the movie comes out. Mm -hmm. um, and Spider-Man will be wave 46. Uh, also, there will be a Toys R Us assortment, so there will be some exclusive figures there and some, uh, and some specialty. And then after 46, uh, we'll come back up here to 47, which is the Mark Silvestri X-Men. Um, and uh, that's going to include Colossus Rogue, Dazzler, Longshot. Wolver uh, Wolverine will come with the Brood as an army builder. And then a rare variant will be the Brood Wolverine. Um, uh, it's in mid-transformation. Uh, Colossus will come with some extra parts and an addition a swappable Outback bear chest and a hand to do fastball specials with. Um, and Dazzle will come with some extra parts as well. The uh, Fear Itself box sets come out in uh, June. We're working on a Hulk Through the Ages box set, which is still in development. Uh, Venom Through the Ages is uh, going to be coming out in September. And then we'll have our first Flash Thompson Venom figure. Uh, I believe the first Flash Thompson Venom figure that will make it to market. Um, so look for that in September. And uh, there will also be a wave of Toys R Us exclusive figures, including a couple more X-Men, Havoc and Storm, um, Iron Man with the Rhino, who is very, um, into, uh, someone who's been asked for a lot uh, in a new bulky version. Um, the first Miles Morales action figure as a mini mate, um, plus ulti ulti as Ultimate Spider Man, plus Ultimate Captain America, and two Alpha Flight members, um, which will be the first in a uh, uh, series of Alpha Flight characters we'll be doing. A lot of stuff coming from Marvel Mini Mates, and that, like I said, that's Wave 47, so we're counting down to Wave 50. Uh, this year is the 10th anniversary uh, of Mini Mates in general, but Marvel Mini Mates turned 10 in 2013, and that's when Wave 50 will hit, and we're uh, uh, trying to figure out what we can do that will be really special for the fans. All right. Well, cool. We have a great selection coming out and everything for this year and into next year. And I want to thank Zach Oates from Diamond Selects for letting me come on in and showing you guys all the new stuff coming out. Thank you for coming by. All right. It's Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at New York City Toy Fair 2012.